Geophysics can be used for oil and gas exploration. In exploration, it consists in a subject of natural sciences concerned with the physical properties of the Earth. I will describe the different geophysics methods used in exploration. I will start by the techniques called non-seismic methods. First, gravity measurement may be done. It is mainly used for unexplored areas. Gravity exploration or gravimetrical exploration is a geophysical method based on natural gravity field study over the Earth's surface. A gravity meter or gravimeter measures the acceleration of the Earth's gravity at that location. The physical basis of the method is the law of universal gravitation by Isaac Newton, in accordance with which rocks having different densities make different changes to the gravity field. Rocks have specific and persistent density features, specific combination of which make specific gravity fields. The gravity meter is very sensitive to the density of the rock in the subsurface. It measures the gravity in units of acceleration called milligold. Anomalies can help to distinguish sedimentary basin whose field differs in density from that of the surrounding region. A mass of relatively light rocks such as salt domes or porous reef can be detected by the gravity meter because of the lower than normal gravity values over it. A mass of relatively heavy rocks near the surface, such as basement rock or anticline, can be detected by higher than normal gravity values. The gravimeter can be a useful tool to focus further exploration in some areas. Magnetic prospection is also used for frontier exploration. It is a geophysical method based on the examination of magnetic field anomalies of the Earth caused by non-similar magnetization intensity of rocks. The magnetometer measures the Earth's magnetic field in units called Gauss or nanoteslas. It is very sensitive to rock containing a very magnetic mineral called magnetite. If a large mass of magnetite-bearing rock like basement rocks, occur near the surface, it is detected by a larger magnetic force than the normal regional value. The magnometer is primarily used to detect variation of basement rock depth and composition. It can be used to estimate the thickness of sedimentary rocks filling a basin and to locate faults that display basement rock. As gravity methods, Magnetic prospection allows to focus further exploration by allowing detecting sedimentary basins. Seismic reflection is a method of exploration geophysics that uses reflected seismic waves to estimate the properties of the Earth's subsurface. Seismic waves are mechanical perturbations that travel in the Earth. This technique consists in doing an echography of the underground thanks to the reflection of seismic waves on layers interface. Two main types of waves can propagate underground, the body waves and the surface waves. Concerning the body waves, P waves or primary waves are the fastest waves to propagate in the Earth, and they are the first to be detected. They have a longitudinal displacement. Ace waves or secondary waves are slower than P waves. They have a transversal displacement as they induce shearing of the particles. Surface waves are also detected. Love waves, which are horizontally polarized shear waves, and Rayleigh waves, which travels as ripple with motions, such as shallow marine waves. The general principle of seismic reflection is to send P waves using an energy source such as dynamite explosion of our size into the Earth, where each layer reflects a portion of the wave's energy back. These reflected energy waves are recorded over a predeterminated time period by receivers that detect motion of the ground in which they are placed. On land, the typical receiver used is a small, portable instrument known as geophone, which converts ground motion into an analog electrical signal. In water, hydrophones are used, which convert pressure changes into electrical signals. Each receiver's response to a single shot is known as a trace and is recorded onto a data storage device. Then the shot location is moved along and the process is repeated. Typically, 
The recorded signals need significant amounts of processing before they are ready to be interpreted. Modern seismic reflection survey contains large amounts of data and so require large amounts of computer processing, often performed by supercomputers or computer cluster. This is the end of this course. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more on a technical subject related to the energy sector, please feel free to download videos on skills for energy.io's platform.